Hello and welcome to the session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would look at Michael Porter two comparative strategies. And this is basically a short summary of it. And by the way, this is not Michael Porter, in case you are wondering. Uh, there's a confusion that says, uh, saying that says, person who chases two rabbits catches neither. What does that mean? It means, as a company, we have to focus on one thing to be competitive, to be good. And this is what we mean by the two competitive strategies of Michael Porter. And by the way, this is Michael Porter, just in case you're wondering who Michael Porter is. It's an academian. It's a US-based academian. You can Google him if you're interested in, and obviously he has various books. So what are the two competitive strategies that Michael Porter talks about that we need to be aware of as cost accounting students? The two competitive strategies are either cost leadership or differentiation. Now, when I say cost leadership or differentiation, it doesn't mean that's it. Those are, it cannot be a combination or more toward cost leadership or more toward differentiation. So no company can be 100% cost leadership or 100% differentiation, but to a degree, a company will be more toward cost leadership than differentiation or more toward differentiation than cost leadership. What do we mean by cost leadership? Let's talk about this. So if you're a company that's focusing on cost leadership, you want to outperform competitors. You want to compete by producing at the lowest cost. Cost, lowest cost. Makes sense, right? Consistent with quality demanded by the customers. Now, it doesn't mean it's a low quality. It's what the quality, it's the quality that the customer demands from you based on what you could afford to do as a cost. So it doesn't mean low quality. It could be good quality, decent quality. A good example of it is Amazon. Amazon tried to save on every penny that they have. Okay, and to tell you an example about how strict Amazons are on savings and making sure they don't waste any penny, I have a lot of students where I used to teach, I used to teach in an area where Amazon had a warehouse. And every time I talk about Amazon, I would see students rolling their eyes and like, you know, just like, you know, I'd ask them what, what, what's going on and say, hey, we work with at, at Amazon warehouses. So they'll tell them, what do you, what's your, what, what do you hate about Amazon? Basically, why are you rolling your eyes? And they would say, once they leave, once the employee leaves the warehouse, there's a security checks. Basically, like as, if you're going through the airport, they will check you. They will, you might have to wait. They told me 30 minutes as a security check to make sure literally you did not steal anything from Amazon and they don't pay you for those 30 minutes. Why? Because they want to make sure they don't, they don't, they don't lose any penny because they are competing on cost. So a company like Amazon competing on cost. Another example of a cost leadership company is Southwest Airlines. What they do is they hedge their fuel. Hedge their fuel means what? It means they buy future contract to make sure when fuel prices changes, they're not affected by the fuel prices. They have happy employees. And we'll talk about Southwest Airlines as a case later on when we talk about uh, the uh, business scorecards and uh, the map, and we'll talk about it specifically. Also, Southwest Airlines, what they what they do, they use the same airplane, the 737. They use the same airplane. What does that mean? It means the mechanics. They don't have to worry about many types of different planes. They became specialized into maintaining the same plane. Therefore, they get a competitive advantage. They have a low maintenance cost. Why? Because now they are they only have to focus on one sort of a plane on one sort of a plane therefore it lowered their maintenance cost so those there are many examples but think about cost leadership where the company focuses on outperforming their customers by by looking at cost now another strategy is to have differentiation okay what is differentiation creating value for the customer through product innovation product feature customer service or at least if they don't actually do it they'll give you the perception based on their marketing okay they give you the perception maybe when you want to think about differentiation and product innovation think about the iphone the iphone does a lot of things as well, there's other competitors that does the same thing, but the iPhone differentiate their product and they charge you premium prices. Their iPhones now is, a, the latest iPhone is a thousand dollar iPhone. Although it does everything that maybe a regular phone will do, but, oh, but would have a special features, okay? Product innovation and special feature. So the customer is willing to pay more for these added value or the perception of these added value. Again, an iPhone versus a flip phone from Nokia. Maybe the flip phone doesn't give you all the feature, but maybe another phone from Google will give you the same features or the same functionality, but you think the iPhone is better. It has better feature, um, product feature, and better innovation. And this is a summary basically about companies that have that, that, that focus on cost leadership versus differentiation. The strategic target for cost leadership is as many customers as possible, broad section of the market. For example, uh, Nokia, 
flip iPhone, they'll try to sell it all over the world. Uh, Apple, they'll try to focus on specific section of the market. People who can afford the $1,000 iPhone. Not a lot, but specific, globally specific, uh, specific market. Basis of competitive advantage, cost. Here, the basis of competitive advantage is unique product or service or the perception of a unique product or service, right? Like Nike, when you hear the word Nike, you would think it's a good product. Well, maybe other shoes are as good as Nike, but the perception is Nike, not Mikey. Nike. Nike. Um, the perception is it's a good product. A product line, limited selection. You don't have a lot of selection. Uh, for differentiation, they'll have a wide variety with wide uh, specification, a lot of specification. The product emphasis, again, the possible lowest possible cost and essential feature just to get you just to get you going innovation and differentiation with the differentiation marketing emphasis they're marketing their low cost actually they're marketing here their premium cost the differentiation companies they're marketing that we have a lot we have a high cost but you are paying you get what you pay for that's they put you under that impression and customers are willing to pay for it so this is basically a summary of the michael porter's uh, two competitive strategies. And why do we need this? Why do we learn this in cost accounting? Because as, as, as management accounting, we want to know what is our strategy? Is it cost leadership or is it differentiation? And based on that, management accounting will devise plans or help management devise plans to reach the whatever the objective is of the company. Once again, we cannot serve uh, chase two rabbits, or in Christianity, as they say, serve two gods, uh, serve two things, two masters, God and money. So we have to differentiate. We have to know what are we focusing on. If you have any questions, any comments, by all means, email me or see me in class. If you're studying for your CPA, if you're studying for your CMA, um, study hard. It's worth it. 